Let's look at the basics of editing audio. So here I am in waveform view and I've got one of my audio files open. For the moment, I'm just gonna get rid of the spectral view because we'll be looking at that later. So here's my basic waveform. Now, as I've mentioned before, you can zoom in and out either by pinching and dragging on your trackpad or you can use these commands down at the bottom. So you can zoom in like that. You can zoom out, you can zoom left and right and you can zoom out full to see the full track. You can also do things like zooming to the in and out points. These little handles at the edge here are fade handles and that's quite helpful because those operate independently of the mixer. So that's not actually technically automating like you would do in the mixer, that's just creating fades for a track in and out. You'll also see this little thing here called the heads up display. And this is quite nifty because this basically lets you quickly perform actions on parts of a waveform. And it floats around, as you can see. Now, if I was to just select a part of a waveform, let's say I select this part here and then I can zoom in. This will now affect the selected part of the waveform. So if I was to turn the volume down using that control, you can see it just affects that part of the waveform. I could choose a different part and I could turn that part up. I could move on and so forth. So I could quickly create different volume levels throughout the clip. And this isn't affecting the main mixer. This is all done within the clip. And this heads up display can be moved around unless I press the pin button. And if I choose to pin it to the currently selected area, then it will stay there as I move my selection around, which I can do by picking up its handle and moving it around like that. There are other things that I can do with my selection. So if I was to select this part here, I can right click on it and I have various options. Some of the most commonly used options are down here. I could crop that out of the waveform completely, which would shorten the clip. I could remove that and it's gonna warn me that it's being used elsewhere and that will change other parts of my project. So I'm just gonna cancel that. Again, if I right click, I could insert silence. So that's then removed that part of the audio. There's also undo, by the way, this is very useful to know about. So if I was to just expand my history section, here's all the stuff that I've done to this clip so I can move back at any point to any stage I could even move back to before I'd started changing volumes by doing that. So I can move back and forth. I can also delete undo stages if I want. So I can basically sort of move back and forward in time, unless I delete things, in which case they're no longer available. Another thing that I can do from the waveform editor, again, if I right click, is to heal the selection. And what that will do is it will analyze the selected audio for any issues like clicks or pops or cracks. Now you can see that it basically wants to work on very short spaces of audio. So what I would have to do if I wanted to do that is I would have to zoom in to a small area, right click and choose heal selection. 